Okay. All right. So, hi, Abigail. Can you um, introduce yourself and tell us how you came to do this uh, internship in Girona, Spain, please? Hi, I'm Abigail Palmer. I'm from Plymouth University and I was studying events management for four years there. And then after my degree, my Spanish teacher offered me the opportunity to come to Spain to help with the English classes as she had a contact in the university. So I applied through Erasmus, which the university has a department. So I spoke to the department and they helped me arrange the paperwork to come to the university in Girona. Mm -hmm. And what about, uh, how does it work financially? Financially, they um, awarded me with 1,000 euros. So this covers the rent for the time that you're in mm -hmm. Girona mm -hmm. for the three months. Yeah. And other than that, um, it's useful to have a little bit of money saved up in addition. Mm -hmm. Or whilst you're here, you can try and work or give private English classes to earn some money. Okay, is it, uh, do you think Girona is more expensive than Plymouth? Um, I wouldn't say so. It depends on how you spend your money, hmm. but I haven't seen a strong difference between prices here or in England. Oh, okay. okay. And um, how long is the internship? Uh, the internship is for three months, so I started beginning of October until the end of December. Okay. And what about accommodation? Uh, was that a problem, finding accommodation? I began um, my stay here with uh, one of the teachers called Philippa and um, I looked for accommodation and after a few days I'd found somewhere to live. There's lots of adverts inside the university where you can, um, there's lots of adverts which have uh, flats advertised and then also you can look online and there's plenty of places with other students that you can share with. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so when you came here, you stayed in Philippa's house, but you also looked on Facebook before, I think you had yeah, contacts. Yeah, I looked on you? Facebook. I mm -hmm. looked in a few different places to keep my options open. Mm. And then when I arrived, there was still one that I was looking at that I could go and visit. Mm -hmm. Okay, and can you tell us what, uh, what the internship involved? What did you have to do? For my internship, I do 12 hours work a week, so I'm working with the English department for six hours a week, mm -hmm. so I help the students with their conversation skills. I give them private lessons and we talk about uh, tourism and different, different aspects. If they have any questions or they wanted help for maybe looking for somewhere abroad, I could help them in different areas as well. And then I also spend six hours a week working with the human resources department. So I would um, meet with the lady there called Georgia and we would help try and arrange things for students and also I would help the students with interviews and their CVs for abroad and lots of them wanted to go to the United States or also to England. Mm -hmm. And um, was there anything that was... Uh, that was difficult for you? I mean, is, did you have to have specialist knowledge to do this or do you think you were well prepared to do this internship? I think after completing a degree, it's, it's not um, too difficult to have the skills to uh, meet new people mm -hmm. and have the conversation skills to run the English classes. Uh -huh. I found it uh, not too difficult and I didn't have to put much preparation in to help the students and also to work in the human resources department, uh, it wasn't it wasn't difficult. Okay, and um, about the teaching, for example, what hours did you do? Did you have a timetable, or how did that work? I um, met with the students on Mondays and Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. So I would usually meet for three hours on a Monday and three hours on a Tuesday. Mm -hmm and speak uh, about different aspects with them. Mm. I prepared some questions beforehand, but then usually we would end up talking on other subjects as well. Right, okay, great. And um, what have you gained from the experience, do you think? Uh, I've gained quite a lot from the experience, as I've never had a role like this before. I've um, worked in hotels and restaurants, but being able to work in a human resources department and help students has allowed me to gain more social skills and also 
yeah, expand my skills for the future. Mm -hmm. And what do you think is the best aspect of uh, the internship? Um, probably working independently. Mm -hmm. You have to ensure that you can uh, have everything prepared and you're capable of helping the students. And also the human resources taught me a lot as I learned how to help the students with their interviews for abroad mm -hmm. and yeah, help with their curriculums, their CVs. Okay, good. And um, tell us about Girona. Uh, Girona is a, is a very nice city. It's not too big. I would say it's a similar size to Plymouth, but mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's got a different feel as it's um, quite a historic city, but there's also plenty of things to do. There's lots of nice shops to go. There's shop, like a huge shopping area. There's plenty of bars and restaurants. Mm -hmm. And then if you fancy taking walks, there's lots of places to go hiking nearby. So there's always different things that you can do or you can yeah, meet up with different students from the university. Okay, and is it a good location? Um, I would say it's a really good location. It's only 40 minutes by train to reach Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And then also you can visit other cities nearby. I visited one called Cadaqués, which is on the coast. Mm -hmm. And then I also visited uh, a town called Figueres, which has the Dali Museum, which is very big and famous. Mm -hmm. And yeah, so if you have free time, there's other places that you can visit with friends. Yeah, and all of this by public transport. Yeah, all by public transport yeah. and it's cheap. Okay, and uh, what can you do in your free time? Uh, in my free time, I often gave private classes to, um, to people in the local area mm -hmm. or students so I could earn some extra money. And then also, I often uh, went to places to go hiking with my friends or we, uh, we visited uh, the towns nearby. Okay, and uh, what do you think you'll miss when you go back to uh, Britain? Uh, when I go back to England, I'll miss the food that they have here mm -hmm. I, and the culture. I like uh, living in Spain and I think that in the future I will return to Spain for some time. And also I probably will miss the weather as the weather here is, is hot, even it's hot during the winter. Mm -hmm. uh, up until November, some days you can just wear a t-shirt mm -hmm. during, like, during the midday. It can be 20 degrees, so yeah, it's, it's warm. <laughs> okay, and would you recommend the experience? Yeah, definitely, I would recommend it. If you're looking for something to do in addition to your studies to gain extra skills, it's a valuable experience and you can learn a lot from the job role and also learn and increase your Spanish with the students that are here. Okay, thank you very much.